So um, most of the people that know me know I'm a, um, I don't want to say happy go lucky dude, but I'm real select, select on who I open up to. And, um, you know, people be like, man, you ain't got a care in the world. And I be like, man, shit, I stay to myself, man. It'd be like, you had the least drama that way, man. I want to tell everybody, man, when you see me out, when you see me smiling, kicking it, making these videos, you got to understand that I'm always celebrating because I am 100% sucker free. I cut off everybody in my life that bothered me, that irritated me, friend, co-worker, family member, ex, whatever. No matter, anybody who get on my nerve is getting removed. And that's how you become sucker free. I'm not going to sit on the phone and talk a bunch of crap about somebody and then you hear me kicking it with them. That's not going to happen. If I'm telling you about somebody, it's only the story before I blocked them. So a lot of y'all people need to really get sucker free and remove all the negativity out your life because um, a lot of people will go out their way to bother you. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I don't really call or text nobody. Um, the people that really call me, like on a regular, you know what I'm saying? A couple people, um, we good people. But there's some people I get random calls and they be calling me talk about nothing. About their opinions and what they think and honestly, don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 2018, I got to stop a lot of that. But I don't talk to these people regularly so you know sometimes they call come out the blue and i'll be like all right let me answer but then when you after like three minutes of talking to them you like yeah i should have not answered it but um i am a hundred percent sucker free and what i mean is you got to remove everything out your life it no matter if it's a co-worker if it's a family member whatever man if a person is really truly um bothering you if they too judgmental if they too opinionated and they try to push their shit off on you, like I don't eat meat. So I don't walk around trying to get people to eat veggies and the shit I eat. You know, that's my thing. If I choose to go to church every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? That's my thing. I ain't trying to tell everybody I rock with that they need to do that. I let people be who they are. And um, when people start trying to put what they believe on me, I take it personal. Like, listen, man, I'm doing what I got to do for me so I can stay smiling and stay happy. You do what the fuck you need to do for you so you can do the same. Because if you're doing what you want to do and you're still grumpy, evidently it's not working for you, my man, my girl, whatever. Like me, I'm doing what works for me. Like me, I really don't have a care in the world. I kick it with my kids because my kids is the realest people I know. They are splitting the image of me and they love me for who I am. Like they don't see no flaws in me and that love is not tainted. When you got these older people, you know what I'm saying? They done been through hell and high water. So a lot of people try to put their anger towards you. It'd be so many people that call me that try to make me seem mad about things when I'm like, Dude, listen, I ain't been mad until you called. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, I don't like talking to you because it ain't nothing to, um, it ain't nothing to talk about. So, right now, your boy the flexor, people call it doing my shit, but, um, right now, your boy the flexor, do whatever it takes to stay sucker free and to stay out of these people's way. So, if you got a cousin, if you got a friend or schoolmate or a high school buddy or a childhood friend from the neighborhood if all they call you to tell you about what's happening in the hood who got killed who did this man block their number man because it ain't no good for you like a lot of people call me about shit that's happening in the streets and i be like boy for man i ain't in the streets i got a nine to five baby well nigga you come from the hood but still man i understand the rules of it and um you know when you out there these are the things that can happen i take my black big nose ass to work and i deal with these motherfucking people i get my check i come home pay a couple bills take a little trip here and there and that's it, man. Take care of my kids. All that other shit, I'm not with it. So if you a negative person, please remove yourself from um, please remove yourself from my life because um, you're no good for me, baby. You know what I'm saying? Male or female, if you if you consider me a friend, if you consider me a friend, don't tell me nothing. 
Keep me in the dark. Let me be a little pipsqueak. Let me be a dork. Let me be a loser because I don't give a F about none of that stuff if it ain't really positive. If it ain't got nothing to do with me, man, like don't be surprised if if a motherfucker get killed because he was in the streets. I mean, that's what's in the streets. It's wild, right? So that goes back to say like uh, the game ain't for everybody. I know it ain't for me. I'm not about to be standing outside all day doing doing nothing you know what i'm saying i'd rather go punch a clock make a couple dollars clock out sit down i'm cool with the little short money i cut back on a couple things save a little bit more but that's why i'm able to smile chill and i'm not bothered by nobody because i cut everything so this is my advice to you from your boy the flexor happy sunday make your money stay sucker free cut these suckers off and live your life cool with what you want to do can you picture yourself waking up every day in a judge-free zone no matter where if you're going for a walk if you about to drive somewhere if you're in a store you ain't fucking with nobody you in your own zone you got your music on you shopping and you could give a f less about anybody man it's the greatest feeling in the world man so please Unlock your unlock your true talent and stop carrying all this dead weight. I don't care if they've been friends since you was in the third grade, man. A lot of people grow apart. So if these people ain't putting no good positivity in your life, look at me when I said this. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a fuck if it's parents, if it's siblings, if it's if it's somebody who said they your significant other. If they ain't trying to make you better or just trying to make you do shit that they into and you feel like they dragging you into it, fuck them. Find some new ones. Or be by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Or invest in your kids or something like that, man. But that's your boy, The Flexor, man. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, IG. Check out that drink page. Check out that website. We got a lot of dope content coming. I mean, look at that. I'm fucking up. My bad. A lot of dope content coming. Stay tuned. It's your boy, The Flexor.